as I shared with you this morning, uh, I, I didn't, I'm jumping stories. I, uh, a lady who was, worked at the Bible school where I worked at, um, was sharing how that a friend of hers had been in a coma for an extended period of time, a long period of time. And they really didn't give hope for them to come out. But they had special prayer for this person. And the result is they come out of the coma. Amen. And they were responsive. This morning I shared about a man who made national news from Charleston, West Virginia. We have macular degeneration, which is not something that you ever see revert back when someone gets their, their sight. Um, but he would develop some irritation in his eye because he had a uh, cataract. And typically they wouldn't worry much about this and someone that already lost their vision. But it ruptured. And uh, this man believed for years, I believe it was 14, that he would have his sight back. They took the cataract off and his sight renewed. They took his cataract off his other eye where his macular degeneration was there. And there his sight came back. Uh, it, this doesn't happen, folks. That isn't the medical norm. That isn't what they do for treatment of macular degeneration to bring uh, sight back to eyes. Amen. But there's someone that we can hope in, and it's Jesus Christ, no matter what we have need of. And we often read this uh, Psalms 42, and we're familiar with the first part of it, where David says, As a heart panteth after the water broke, so panteth my soul after Thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God. For the living God, when shall I come and appear before God? David said, My tears have been my meat day and night, instead of eating, partaking of anything. Uh, he didn't eat. It's just his tears is all that he knew even above eating. While they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? I'll be the first to say for the man with macular degeneration, I'm sure the doctors laughed at him, maybe he said you can have hope, but had no real uh, basis of believing, particularly if they didn't know Jesus Christ. Where is God? He has not used in all these years. He said, When I remember these things, I poured out my soul, soul within me. I had gone with the multitude. I had went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise, with the multitude that kept holy days. He says, Why art thou cast down, O oh, my soul? Why art thou disquieted in me? You ever feel that way before? Why, are, why am I down? Why am I feeling this way? Why am I disquieted? And then he gives himself this gentle nudge. Of encouragement. He says, Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him, for he is the help of his countenance. Oh my God, my God, he asks the question again. My soul is cast down within me when I remember, uh, he, re he reminds himself of this soul being cast down. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan, now the Hermonites, from the hill of Nizar. And then he says, Deep calleth unto deep with the noise of the water spouts. All thy waves and billows are, are, are gone over me. You know, sometimes when we're in that place where we feel disquieted, where maybe we feel like hope is distant or a hope is gone, God is saying, but the call was this. There's a call from a deeper place that says, hope in me. Amen. There's a deeper place tonight that says, would you trust me? Would you hope in me when you feel disquieted, when you feel cast down? You've been serving me, but God said, in the middle of all this, amen, I intended to preach on David tonight. His son Absalom, he, he, his son works against him, and, and he gets a, a hot for the oil, and, 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 and some of his trusted advisors, and he pulls him against David. The hot meal as, as, as the grandfather of Bathsheba. He's been nursing this thing that happened with Bathsheba as David continues to take wives and concubines. And so here it is, absolute. David's on the run, brother, brother uh, David. He's on the run because his son is trying to take the kingdom against him. But do you know what David did? David kept saying to himself, Hope thou in God. He said in the wilderness, <coughs> there's a place 
place of beauty, but there's a place of danger. There's a place of wonderful animals that all of a sudden can turn vicious and turn on me. But he said, I'm trusting God in the wilderness. And in the wilderness, I will worship. Do you know what sometimes we have to do when we wonder where hope is? When we wonder why we're not feeling as upbeat as we like or as engaged as we like? Hope thou in God. Deep call unto deep at the noise of thy water spots. All thy ways and thy billows are gone over me. Listen to verse number 8. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in all the daytime. And in the night, his song shall be with me. Brother David, you said before, he sings over us. Do you know what puts our little girls to sleep? I'll, I'll slaughter this, but we sing this little song. Um, Jesus, we're depending on you. Jesus, we're depending on you. Jesus, we're depending on you. Depending on you to see us through. Amen. We sing that sometimes at night when they won't go to sleep. We'll just sing it over and over. When they came to the water, didn't know what to do. There was no one to help them. Couldn't see their way through. Oh, but you won't move the water. And they walked right on through. Oh, Jesus, we're depending on you. Sing in Jesus, we're depending on you. Jesus, we're depending on you. Jesus, we're depending on you. Depending on you to see us through. Sometimes all we can do is just allow the Lord to sing over us in the night. He sings much better than I do. Thank the Lord. Amen. In my prayer unto God of my life, I will say unto God, my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning? Because of the oppression of the, that enemy. As a sword in my bones, my enemies reproach me while they say daily unto me, where is thy God? Then he asked the question again, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted in me? For I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. I just want to say tonight, Hope thou in God. While some people hope for the lottery, while some people hope for good news on the diagnostic testing. While some folks hope for outcomes of the procedure. <clears throat> Amen. The greatest hope that we can have is hoping in God. But hope <clears throat> thou in God. Hope thou in God. Sister Linda, I say this not ever to embarrass you. I will never embarrass someone. I say this to encourage you. Your situation, hope thou in God. Hope thou in God. No matter what the enemy says, Brother John, amen tonight, <coughs> hope thou in God. I just want to do this in closing. Could we get them back in? Kind of how we were.